questions. I do, like I'm doing it correctly, but because of our court, like the way that you entered it, our coordinate system is different. So I was wondering if you do it the way that I want to enter it, can you help me finish the problem? All right, which problem is it? It was question 30. Uh. <laughs> Which was if a car takes a blank a banked curve at less than ideal speed, friction is needed to keep it from sliding toward the inside of the curve. Calculate the ideal speed to take a 100 meter radius curve banked at 50 degrees. I knew how to get that one, but the second part is what is the minimum coefficient of friction needed for a frightened driver to take the same curve at 20 kilometers per hour? All right. And, uh, while you were doing that, I was seeing if I actually had it copy the questions, which I don't right now. All right, so. Do you want my computer? Yeah. <laughs> can we go over how to find ideal speed in the first place again? Like, can we just like get a formula? Yeah, thing? we can do question. We can Wait. do question 30. Question 30, part. It's not touch screen. <laughs> I'm touch screen if you can borrow mine. Right. We, can put, we can try to find the answer to number. If a car has a baked curve at less than ideal speed, mm -hmm. if a car takes a baked curve at less than ideal speed, friction is needed to keep it from sliding towards the inside of the curve. Okay. Problem one, I see mountain roads. Calculate the ideal speed to take a 100 meter radius curve back to 15 degrees. Okay. So, your question was of part A and B, or just? No, uh, Robin wanted to go over part A, but I want to go over part B. Okay. so that if it were frictionless, you would just slide right around at basically the same height. All right, so direction of acceleration. Huh, what was the question? What is the direction of acceleration? Uh, that one, there. Okay. All right, and just different coordinate system. Oh, part B is where you got the issue. Okay, uh, so we've done F, A, coordinate and axis, axes. Um, the, uh, the, uh, sorry, I had, okay, the way that I answered it, okay, the way that I answered this part, I didn't need coordinate axis. Like, I guess that's probably, like, part of the way to do it if you're doing, like, a force diagram, but I just use... Um, I just use the formula theta equals arc ten v squared over so arc. You skipped over the derivation and went straight to the formula. Yeah, because I knew the formula. Yeah, and if you don't know the formula, let's set up the equations. Okay. So, coordinate system. Like which directions? Yeah. I J. Okay. 
Let's see, what's the decomposition? Do we need to break either of those up? Yeah. Uh, yes. Normal. Okay. So we'll break it up into horizontal and vertical components. Yeah, we do. So I know that angle there is theta. The normal force is acting in that direction. Uh, I know this angle here is theta because that's parallel to this. Parallel lines cut by transverse. Transverse alternate interior angles are congruent. Uh, I know that is a right angle there, mm -hmm. so this must be the complement of theta, and so this must be theta. So we end up with y sine theta acting towards the center, y cosine theta acting up, okay. and the weight acting down. How would you go about breaking it up? Because I just did the bottom 15 degree angle and I did a Y through that. And then I. That's it. You did Y like that? Yeah, and then I did a, the rest of those parts. Uh, let's see. Like. That's over there. So J hat is Y cosine theta? The same, but flip the other direction. That would be good. In that direction? No, like this way. Oh, oh, oh. Like that. J hat is y parentheses cosine theta. Sorry, Did what? No. J hat no. <laughs> is um, like parentheses well, not equal, but that? y cosine theta? Y cosine theta is pointing in the j hat direction. Okay. No matter what, I think you should always cut it through a line. I don't think Alright, so you did it like that? Yeah. And that's 15 degrees. That would be the complement of 15. So that would be 15 degrees there. And you still get my arrows in the wrong direction there, but it's still y times the sine of that angle. Multiple ways of getting there. I just messed it up. I thought this was what I was asking. Equations of motion. Um, I so wait, is negative y cosine theta? It's in the negative direction. Oh, oh, it's in the negative j hat direction. Okay. For what do we have an independent formula? Weight, weight and, and acceleration. Okay. So we have y sine theta is equal to m v squared over r, and then y cosine theta is equal to mg. Divide y squared away. And theta is equal to v squared over gr. And that's the basic formula of that. I guess we're solving for B. Right, we'll go for our traditional dramatic pause for questions. At this point, it becomes a plug and jump. Assume it takes place on Earth, because everyone knows that Earth is the only planet in the universe with the thing. Rooms. Show me a planet with bank roads other than Earth. 
Do you mean roads specifically or banks? Banks and roads. Do they have to be man-made? I mean, anything can. Oh, we'll go. Right? I think ours is the only. I think I can safely say it's the only man-made planet in the universe that we know of. No one has come up with evidence to refute that. That we know. Of. You mean it's not like absence of evidence? It's not evidence of absence. I'm gonna walk around for that. Okay. Times one hundred. And then it'd be 10, 15 degrees. So what do we get as the ideal? Uh, 16.27 meters per second. Heartbeat, yay. Heartbeat's so exciting. Like yesterday I was rejoicing on the radio because I was like, yes, I love that I don't understand. Before we get to part B, sort of that planetary thing reminds me of the, the joke of how do you know the ancient Romans had cell phones? Because they didn't, they had calculators. It's different from the planet, which is kind of a cell phone. We know they had cell phones because we haven't found any landmines. Is that a joke that I'm just not getting? Uh, it is, uh, it's... It's a pun. It is... Archaeology humor. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm used to my dad being weird, so I'm just not registering anything anymore. All right, part B. It's going at 20 kilometers per hour, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to let me in. It's okay. The, I know the well, I'll tell you the password. All right, so it's 20 kilometers per hour. I feel like I know the password. <laughs> And we are trying to find the coefficient, or is that a different problem? We're trying, yeah, the coefficient of friction. So it's still the same bank angle? Yes. That's not always the coefficient of friction. Uh, static friction or kinetic friction? Static. And, and well, we have to go through the same process. Yeah. So friction. If we use the same force diagram that's there, yeah. Um, friction would be going like it's it's it follows the ramp line. Okay. So that means it would have what is it called? Uh, F sine theta would be the same as y cosine right. theta. Wait, wait, just hold on, just a second. Is friction going that way or that way? It's going this way. That way. Yeah. Very confident in that. All right. So let me give myself a little bit of room here. Mm -hmm. So it's going to the right and it's going up. Yes. And since it's the same line as the ramp, like if you were to make, you know, the angle is theta, which is 15. So it's just y sine. Y cosine is like the triangle that we would make up. So, okay. So, yeah. So going up is going to be F sine theta. Yeah. Uh, also, since normal force and friction are perpendicular to each other, uh, the sines would flip. So the vertical for the normal force is cosine. The vertical for or for the friction would be the opposite sign. So cosine. And this one is horizontal assigned. This one will be cosine. Okay, that makes sense. Is there a question or comment just then? Like no. Can you actually put cosine instead of sine for vertical? So what you're saying is I made a mistake. Yes. Yeah. It's a happy day today. Uh, 
uh, and uh, the equations of motion are I have okay wait the coordinate axes the way that I chose it was not following acceleration which is why maybe like I had like a negative instead of a positive where you had the opposite but it, at the end of the day like the way I was answering the question I just wasn't making sense so I had I had going this way and J had going that way instead okay. of the opposite so I know acceleration is that way Acceleration is going that way. Uh -huh. uh, and you set up a coordinate system I had and J had. Yeah. Okay. This tangent, cosine of the sine, and sine of the cosine, sine of the cosine. Never mind. So, given this different coordinate system, uh -huh. it what are my equations of motion? F cosine theta minus y sine theta equals. M times AC, A sub C, and then J hat is Y cosine theta plus F sine theta minus weight equals zero. Can I ask you a question? How do we go from 16.27 meters per second to 20 kilometers per hour? That's just like a second part of the question, so they're changing the velocity. Oh, uh, like, it's like okay. a different thing. So, okay, there is a problem here. Potentially, you could correct it in the next step, but I guess philosophically, I, could, I think it really should go here. That's a zero, right? That is a zero. Okay. There is obviously a problem, and the problem is. Problem is, I don't know. What's the direction of acceleration? This way. I understand that, but I purposely chose my coordinate axis. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Still get there. So then, why is F cos positive? Oh, wait, that means it's a. negative M A. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Woo. Uh, F cos is positive because Rachel, F cosine is, is for instance, friction is up the ramp that's to the right and up. So <laughs> yeah, that was my hint of the answer. I just didn't realize it was funny. So we can still keep going. Pesky negative sign. Just wait till you take one. Always look at that first. So, so, and then, okay. We'll just still continue, obviously. So now you make things right and do following what I did because I did make that mistake, obviously, but I still think I could still answer the question. So I did F cosine theta equals Y sine theta minus. MAC and then the J hat would become Y cosine theta plus F sine theta equals weight and then I started substituting like a weight for MG F for uh, so you solve for F cosine theta here yeah and here you just brought weight over yeah and then you solve for F and plug it in here no, no, no. I, what I did start from there is since friction equals mu sub s times normal right. force, I yeah, I substituted f for that. So I've got u s y cosine theta yeah. minus y sine theta. Oh, you brought it over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just when you're here. And then mu s, the, the y cosine theta, right? Plus mu s y sine theta, yeah. Equals mg. Yeah. And then after that, what I did was I kind of like simplified the problem. So I was trying to find, since we're technically finding mu sub s, I isolated mu sub s by dividing both sides on the top equation by y cosine theta. Which so is that'll end up being tan theta 
minus m v squared over r y cosine theta. Whoa, what? So, v squared over r is a sub c. Right. And you divide it by y cosine theta. Oh, 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 you already did mv squared. Oh, okay, I just didn't do that. That's okay. We can yeah, keep going. Okay. I do that in like the next step. So it's fine. And then for the second problem, I isolate the normal course. So, well, kind of. I do y times mu sub uh, sine theta plus cosine theta um, equals mg. And then I bring what I put in the parentheses over there. So in the end, it would just be y equals mg over mu sub. So you brought that into here. Oh. It's a plug, plug into that. I simplified the answer for it. So like I simplified the the second part. So I did y equals mg over mu sub uh, sine theta plus cosine theta. Because if you isolate y, so you're isolating y in this equation or that in the, in the second, second equation. You isolated y. Yeah. And you end up with mg over mu sub s sine theta plus cosine. Okay, so you factor the y out. Yeah. And so you get up with y is equal to mg mm -hmm. over cosine theta plus mu sub s sine theta. Okay? And then that's when I am. Um... You plug that into here? Or you solve for. I guess we know everything here, so. No, we're still trying to find use of us. Okay. Um, for the next step that I did was substituting. Okay, I think I. Re yeah, no, no, we can do that. I. So you got for the top equation, you got u. I mean, mu equals tan theta minus mg squared over r y cosine theta. Yes. I just put down mu equals y sine theta minus. Fc, like centripetal force, over y cosine theta, which is like, it's, just, it's the same thing. It doesn't change anything. It's just, it just affects the way I did the next part of the 